Hello, hello, hello. This is a special edition of the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So unfortunately today there was a very great disaster. There was a murder. Um, I don't read the news. I don't listen to the news. And I highly recommend everybody to do that. The news is poison, pure evil. It's screwing up. In fact, the greatest um, anxiety, and anxiety is a terrible issue that Americans have, is from the media. It's the state of the nation, which is just being hammered. Imagine you once hear something bad, but imagine every single day 40 times. So, you know, if anybody wants to be happy, you've got to stop listening to the news. Two weeks before the election, I got so sick of the media circus, I went on a media diet. And amazingly, it totally shifted my mood. In fact, uh, Michael Medved, who's a political commentator, says that the um, if you ask people how they are, they'll say they're good. If they ask people how the world is, terrible. He says, how can that be? So it's the media which is promoting it. Actually, we're living in the best times in human history. However, there was a great tragedy that occurred today. I don't know who the person was, but obviously what I did see was he had rantings about anti-Jews and anti-police. And it behooves the question, and this is a fundamentally important point, and if you agree with what I'm saying, please share this. Why, you know, in the last, I don't know, I would say it's the last, um, from what I can see, maybe five years or so, there's been a major uptick in these kind of shootings <clears throat> so you know everything we do has a motive you know it's very easy to say oh the guy was nuts well, the guy wasn't that nuts he knew how to post things on facebook he knew how to run a gun nuts is a very bad answer you always have to understand psychologically the person's eating a lot now well, there's a reason for it in fact the reason we overeat is usually because we're depressed and eating, we don't like being depressed. And that's the key. The key thing is that there are many people that are miserable. And misery loves company. So once we understand why misery loves company, you'll understand why these things are happening and the solution to it. The reason these things are happening is because I read a report today which was prepared um, about a year went into this report for the Kansas Board of Education. And effectively, you know, the people that unfortunately, the studies now on the kids that do these kind of school shootings, they're sometimes bullied, but certainly they feel disenfranchised. They don't feel like they're part of the whole. And so you see, it's very, very, very simple. You know, Aristotle said, a Jewish mystical point, which is love is one soul in two bodies. Remember that. Why do families love each other more? Why do brothers and sisters love each other more than strangers? Because you're my brother and sister. You're my wife. You're my husband. Why does it make a difference if you put my before? If you're my friend, why should I be more friendly than a stranger? The answer is because when you identify, when you see somebody as self, so the love that you have for yourself, you extend to the other. But there are two types of depression. There's depression and there's repression. Now, love is actually an expansion emotion. All emotions are either expansive or contractive. So there's the self. And the emotion will actually expand self, like love. Or contract self, like fear. Now... When a person's in depression, there's obviously a tremendous contraction of self. Depression, we lose our appetite, we lose our sex drive, we lose our desires in life, we could even lose our love for our family. Because all love is based on self-love. If you don't like the self, you can't like another. And so, unfortunately, what actually happens is sometimes depression doesn't come from self-hate or shame. It actually comes from repression. It comes from somebody else that told me that I'm evil and I believe him. You know, that's really what's behind anti-Semitism. It's the desire 
by those people who themselves unfortunately have been made to feel that they are outcast and they want other people to feel like they are outcast. That's what a bully is doing. It's about trying to show the other person that they are unwanted. We all wish to belong in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's from the earliest needs we have, a need for belonging. So just to conclude, the only solution is to love one another even more.